At its meeting on Wednesday night this week, the HSC School Board approved a recommendation to return grades five and six to 100% attendance. A second recommendation to extend the virtual only option through the second semester was also approved. Grades five and six will return to 100% on Monday, November 2nd. This one week span between that return date and the end of fall break provides time to gauge the health of the schools and the community. Reflecting the experience of the entire state, HSE has seen a spike in COVID-related staff and student cases just this week. As of 10 o'clock Thursday morning, a total of 252 students have been removed from classrooms for COVID-related symptoms, close contacts, and positive cases. This is compared to 250 cases for the entire previous week. There's also been 12 positive cases already this week compared to seven last week. As you've probably heard, the HSC football game with Brownsburg has been canceled for COVID-related issues, and the Focus Day program was suspended for two days this week. When asked by a school board member if I feel confident in light of the increased COVID activity that my recommendation for bringing back grades five and six is sound, I responded that our protocols are working as designed. We are identifying positive cases and those affected. So far, no buildings have been closed. At grades five and six, we will be working within those same protocols. Am I confident that we will have absolutely no interruptions of attendance? Well, no, but I feel that we have the means to address those challenges. With the decision to extend the virtual only option into the second semester, the question was raised concerning the instructional model we are now using. In a previous board work session, we explained that our approach to connect all of our students with their teachers and with one another requires various levels of synchronous instruction or instruction that involves both students in person and students who are virtual. It has required teachers to adjust their instructional approach and to develop and or refine skills both in the use of technology and in collaboration with one another. It has not been an easy adjustment for any of them. I committed to examining options that might be available to address these concerns and to bring them back for further consideration at the next board meeting. In the meantime, we're also reviewing the topic of returning grades seven through 12 at 100%. Those grades are much more challenging in terms of cohorting and distancing. However, because many of the students have chosen a virtual only option, the reduced number of in-person attendance may create some workable conditions given the safety protocols that are now in place. Finally, I want to wish everybody a safe and healthy fall break. This first quarter of the school year has stretched all of us in various ways, and I'm thankful that we all have a break from our new normals. However, I remind all that COVID cases and associated hospital stays are on the rise in this state. It is not the time to relax our precautions. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in person or virtually after fall break on Monday, October 26th.